at the end of the, of the poem uh, called uh, Dead Peasants. And uh, that is a, I'm sorry, uh, that's a term that was used uh, by Wall Street uh, to, to identify the 99%. So if you want to know what you're known as in those circles and the insurance circles, you are called dead peasants, okay, even though you're alive. This is elegy to the hunch mind of the historical stonewalker. The historical stonewalker hums gravedigger songs. The midget rides a frail Dalmatian dog. Wolves howl at pastel-colored ghosts conjured by the hunch mind of the historical stonewalker. The walker skips from stone to stone, never falling, he never falls. In cockfighting, one cock slashes the other, on and on, until one survives and the other dies. In the background, John Lennon sings his imagined song, beguiling frogs in heat, stimulating all beasts to copulate simultaneously. Cro-Magnon meat meanders through hairless vulvas, flitting from genital to genital, coercing caterpillars into total ecstasy. Lights shine on quantum drones, dropping their evil progeny, obsessed with people dying, screaming in pain in limbo in perpetuity, with moral values suspended on the swastika of hope. War creates prophets that only a few serve, that only serve a few. Their cacophonous ideologies scream, but don't persuade. Yet create ignorance and greed, which sucks the marrow out of life, leaving behind misery. It is said strange apparitions will come at the end times. The snow will fall in the desert. Evil with its many illogical voices will prevail to lead us to our own destruction. Gabriel's golden trumpet will play the final note, which the whole world under dark purple skies will hear. Take heed, consider your hell today. Will your tomorrow be any better? Would you recognize the end times if you were in them? The stone walker flits from stone to stone, inscribing the Maya warning, which is fast approaching, and can the apocalypse be ever so close behind? Contemplate seriously, dead peasants. It's closer than you think. Uh -huh. <laughs>